What's up, my favorite people, my soul fam? My name is Trinity, and welcome to my channel, All About the Healing. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you for my ride and dies. Guys, I'm loving you, loving you. All the donations, all the love. Thank you, guys. Loving you, guys. All right, for those for you that uh, my new subscribers, welcome, and I'm so honored. Thank you. For those of you who clicked here for the first time, welcome. I'm not going to go into my introduction. This is going to be a quick read, energy check. Um, and I'm, I'm gonna, going to direct you to the description box where all my information is. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Email me, let me know how, you know, and I will answer you, Okay. All right, so let me get my roll on. But before I get my roll on, I want to convey to you um, just a quick thing. You know, look, I did a video because um, of the comments, the emails, um, people not understanding why they're ghosted, why this, why that, why this, why that. And I'm still seeing people commenting like that or people still emailing me with, you know, not understanding what's going on in their connection. I did, I did a series of videos for this purpose. I need you, if you're hurting, you ghosted, heartbroken, uh, can't figure, can't figure your person out, not understanding. Um, if you keep thinking, 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 obsessing about a person, can't get them off your mind. I need you to go to the series. If you have not seen it yet, I need you to go there. It's called, do, are you ready? No, I forgot. Do you really want them back? is what it's called. I need you to go there. Okay. I need you to go there. I need you to click on it. I need you to take it seriously. I need you to listen. If you're not ready to move in that direction, at least you have the information when you are. Okay. The end of that. All right, let's get into it. I've been getting my roll on. All right, because we are honoring the sign of Taurus. Bam, that is Taurus. Love you, Taurus. Yes, the bull. Yes, yes, yes. Loving you. All right, so we're going to be channeling, um, uh, in their opinion, what did they do wrong? What what did the what part did they play? in this relationship that they did wrong, that they refuse or will not tell you at this point. And then I'm going to channel, what do they want to apologize to you about? Okay. We got um, the initials, we got the love messages, and we got the love oracle. Let's get into it. So in their opinion, what they did wrong, you got acceptance. Okay. Then when I clarified, you got dragon, uh, discover your courage. Okay. So what I get out of this is what they did wrong is that they did not accept. They did not accept the relationship. They did not accept it. They didn't want to accept it. They didn't want to accept their feelings. They didn't want to, um, they had a lot of feelings, emotions, Hidden, hidden, hidden emotions, feelings. Um, they had a lot of it. It was overpowering them. That they, they was over all their feelings and emotions was overpowering them, and they still would not accept it. They were stubborn. They did not want to accept how they felt because they felt like um if they were to accept how they felt and told you how they felt that they would be losing their power, losing the, um, they would be losing something. 
you will have something, you will have more, you will be more powerful. You would be more, um, something about, um, it's something about power with this. Um, but this person was wrong. This person is wrong. This person is so wrong. Okay. Because power, manipulation, um, those type of things in a relationship has to be balanced. There's no one in the relationship that's over the other person. You guys, if it's to be successful, it's supposed to come together as a partnership, equal, equal, give and take. That is what's healthy and that is what um, successful relationships, um, healthy relationships stand on, communication. These are some qualities that this person held up communication, held up their, hid their feelings and emotions because they felt they want more power over the relationship, but they're suffering. So they're suffering in silence because they want to now, they have all these feelings and emotions. They had all of these feelings and emotions and they now can't, don't have the courage because they don't have the courage to tell you. So what they did wrong was they held out because of pride, because of pride and because of stubbornness, they held out telling you the truth about how they felt. And they have a lot of feelings and emotions for you, but they will not, they did not tell you. And the, the, that is what destroyed the relationship because it was no get, no, it was no even give and take. One person was feeding, one person was giving, one person was standing, one person was standing up for the relationship, giving everything, everything they got to the relationship. And the other person was just taking, taking, taking and hiding, you know, hiding how they felt, you know, and now that they want to express, see, they want to express now they got all these feelings and emotions and it's tearing them apart. They suffering because they're holding on to all this stuff. And then, and now they are scared because you have moved on. You don't went on with your life. You're not getting ready to be bothered up with a whole lot of foolishness. You're not getting ready to um, open them up with open arms and do all that stuff you used to do in the past. You, you're done with that. You're done. And so you're moving forward. You want to be happy. You want to be uh, uh, find someone that's wanting, willing to give to you and you give to them that has equal, op, equal give and take, a healthy relationship. That's what you want. And so that's what a lot of you are. A lot of you are, are in a healthy relationship or seeing someone else or you're dating. And so this person is suffering in silence. So that's what they did wrong. What they want to apologize for you for that. What, what do they want to apologize? Um, what do they want to say? I'm so sorry. I have money. I have a car. I have a house. I'm stable financially. I'm stable um, in a lot of my relationships and friendships and stuff like that. But it's one thing that's missing. It has been missing for a long, long time. And I'm not even put, I'm not putting the blame on you. I'm putting the blame on me because I finally realized that throughout my pride and my ego and not wanting to face myself and facing, not wanting to face the, the, the damage that I did to our relationship, not wanting to face the wrong that I did, not wanting to face it because I know that I will have to, I will, it would be me to correct it. And I just didn't want to face it. But now, oh, now I, I, I want to tell you, I'm sorry. I want to tell you that I love you. I love you. I love you. I've never told you how I felt. I've never told you 
the magnitude of my feelings, they run deep. They run real deep. They overpower me. They overpower me a lot of times. And it makes me feel like even if I were to express it all, it, it just will not come out the way it's supposed to because it's so much and it's so deep. But I want to apologize to you because you did not deserve the treatment. You did, you did not deserve the things that I did, the neglect, the abuse, the, the harsh words, the ghosting. You didn't deserve that. And all of that, I need to tell you, is because of my insecurities, my pride, and my ego. I had all these feelings and these emotions, but I didn't know what to do to do with them because I felt like if I were to lay everything on the line, that you would you would do those things that I did to you. And I've already went through hurt, abuse, abandonment, separation, and I just don't want to I don't want to feel that anymore. But I do love you. I love you with all my heart. You, you you would never know how much love that I have for you. And I'm now, I'm now ready to express it, but I just don't know how. Okay. Initials. You are my sunshine. My only sunshine. You make me happy. We got family. We got family twice. So somebody wants to have a family with you. Someone uh, feels like family is everything. Enough. Someone thinks you are totally enough. Someone can't imagine their life without you. They hope and they wish and they pray for you. Pray for you and pray that you and them will be together again. Namaste. All right. And we got fearless. Someone wants to be fearless to come. See, discover your courage. Someone wants to come and be, be courageous, be brave and come towards you. Okay. Someone has transformed or they're transforming. Uh-oh, Cupid's got his arrow shot at you. All right. Somebody has cats, want cats, love cats. Somebody is very protective over this relationship. Okay. All right, so we got O H Q V W B K. We have G, we have S, we have Y, we have Z, we have L, we have Q. Nope, that's O. So we got two O's and one Q. And then we have D and we have C. All right. All right, so those are the, the initials. Your love messages could be for this connection or anyone who's clicked on the message. I want the old you back. I miss that person. So somebody is missing the old you. You have transformed, renewed your mind. You have moved away from them. You are standing in your power and your truth and what you believe for you and yourself. You're going towards your goals. You're making that money. You're manifesting. And so this person is wanting that old person back that, you know, would, would, uh, did not love themselves, did not place themselves first, okay? All right, so I am so in love with you, fire sign. So this is for a Taurus that is involved with a Sagittarius, Aries, or a Leo. Um, you make me whole. I am in awe of you, all right? I am so obsessed with you, holding on for for dear life, can't let go. So somebody can't let go of the relationship. They're obsessing. So we know again that somebody that's obsessing and going on and thinking, 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 going through that obsession um, energy, that's blocking, that's blocking the relationship. Okay. I want to be more than friends. Do you want me or not? I love you now. I said if somebody wants to be more than friends, okay, you have friend zoned somebody and moved on. And this person can accept that. They want to be more than friends. They want to um, come to you and set the record straight. They want to com communicate, set the record straight. They want you, okay? And they want to be more than friends, all right? So it, somebody want to put that out there. Your overall um, 
your overall, not your overall, your oracle. Your love oracle is look to your inner strength. So we're going back to this courage. Okay. Somebody needs to have courage. If you want to, if you want somebody, if you want to set the record straight, if you want to tell someone, tell someone um, that you love them, hit any emotions you never expressed, you need to do that. <laughs> it's just that simple. You need to do that. Tell someone how you feel, get it off your chest. Um, don't worry what the outcome is going to be, what they're going to say. Don't worry about that. You need to worry about releasing this hidden feelings and emotions and setting that record straight. Okay. Putting it in the atmosphere and, it, and spirit is wanting you to know you, you need to look within your inner strength. You are stronger than you, than you know, this you're stronger than you know, and this can happen. All you got to do is do it, do it fear, do it in fear. No one said that you can't be scared doing it, but you, you must do it. You can't keep waiting around, wishing, hoping, and praying. That's not going. That's not going to help the situation. Action. You have to take action. If you want things to change, you have to change, and you got to take action. Okay. All right. So, this has been your reading, Taurus. Um, I hope it resonated with you. If it did, leave me a comment. Let me know. Um, if okay. If you liked it, thumb up. If you don't, thumb down. It's okay. All right. Like, but if you share, 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 share with your people, share with everybody you know. Subscribe. If I'm rocking with, if I'm vibing with you and you vibing with me, subscribe, subscribe, and comment, comment, comment. Um, social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Go to the description box. Let me tell you this. I love you very much. Love you, love you, love you. I, want, I need you to take care of yourself. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. Take care of your family. I need you to know that indeed Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matters and yours does too. I'm sending you love. I'm sending you healing. And Trinity is 